Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off the grain and the motion blur in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 with a simple setting. So let's press options, then tab on over to settings and go to graphics. Now I do have on-demand texture streaming and most of the time it's going to be on by default. But if you have good internet, you can set this to large or just auto. And this says high quality textures are downloaded from the internet as you play the game, providing more color detail on surfaces. You can set the daily download limit. So if you do have internet issues at your house, you might want to go ahead and set this lower or completely turn it off. Otherwise, you might notice some lag in the background. But then we have post-processing effects. We have world motion blur. And then if you look on the right, you're going to notice the two images. The left image has no motion blur and the right image has world motion blur turned off. So I typically just turn that off. And then you have the weapon motion blur. This will be the motion blur applied to your weapon when you're moving. And then bring film grain all the way down to the left. And by default, it's at 0.25. And then we have depth of field, which is a camera lens simulation that adds blur to out of focus regions on your screen. And then go down to fidelity CAS and then turn this on. And you can set this to 50, 60, 70, whatever but i typically leave mine at 100 and this will add sharpening to your screen so everything is going to pop just a little bit more and then we can go on down and we have the field of view settings i leave mine at 100 to 105 and this is just going to allow me to see more on my screen and then you can go down to the first person camera movement and i have mine least 50 percent select the level of camera shake movement when player is in first person so if you just don't like all the screen movements etc just turn this down a little bit for the third person and first person camera movement. And then I have inverted flashbangs turned on. So when I get hit with a flashbang, it is black instead of white flash on my screen. So just look through those settings. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.